Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to a new video. So today we are playing Rotherham at home in the Championship. Uh, we just beat Birmingham in the FA Cup the other night and I was there, so if you missed that, check out that vlog. But I think today will be a good game. Uh, Rotherham aren't doing that great in the Championship at the minute and I know I've got a few Rotherham fans on the channel. I am actually going to see a Rotherham game next weekend. Uh, my girlfriend Sarah lives down there and like I said, I went to see them last year. You can actually see my ticket up there for my last Rotherham game against Brentford. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see them next weekend play, so if you're a Rotherham fan, stick around. But for today, I have to say I'm hoping for a Newcastle win. Uh, like I said, Newca uh, Rotherham haven't been doing that great in the Championship, I think it's fair to say. And we lost our top spot to um, Brighton when they won last night. So, a win today will take us back to the top. I have seen the lineups, and it's exactly as I predicted it would be. Murphy didn't play in the cup game, and I thought that would be because he would be playing tonight, and he is. We've got Shelby, we've got Richie, we've got Gufram, we've got Hayden, Perez, Murphy, the standard back forward, Darlow and Gore. So, we're probably at our strongest team, except obviously Murphy up front rather than Gale, who's injured, and Mitro's injured. But, Murphy scored two goals in his last two games, so... I'm hoping he can get some more. But yes, guys, I am off to the game now. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to put a prediction down, actually. I'm going to go 2-0. Solid at the back, 2-0 win. We'll be very happy. Okay, let's go. Come on, Newcastle. You know what, lads? I actually leave early for a change, and then the bus changes drivers, so I'm probably going to end up running to the game again. But hopefully I don't miss kickoff. Here we go guys, on time as always, just to see the players come out. Alright guys, half time 1 0. Bit of a disappointing start, but we've got the goal in the, in the end, so I'm happy. It's been quite a feisty game actually, and uh, shots from both teams have been good. I'm hoping now, second half, we'll go on and get a few more goals. Right then, there you go, 4-0 Newcastle. Um, I hoped we were going to win, but I didn't think we were going to win by 4-0. We seem to do that a lot. We like When we win, we win by a lot, or we lose. Those are the two options we've got at the minute. So yeah, to start off, um, actually, congr not, I don't know, congratulate the Rotherham fans, because obviously they lost, but there was loads of them there. They didn't stop singing all game. And the first half, you know... Um, as a Newcastle fan, I was watching it. I wasn't disappointed, but I'd hoped we were going to start the game really well. And it was pretty even, you know, for the first 40 minutes. They had some good chances. Darlow made, like, I can only explain, it's just the craziest error ever. He kind of, like, slid out for the ball, but left it behind him. And then there was tackles flying in. Darlow somehow managed to get back in the net and make a save. So at this point, I'm just sat there thinking... 
we need a goal and then literally three minutes later Murphy grabs the goal and we are going into the uh, half time 1-0 up. We basically played in the second half like I'd hoped we would in the first half but you know we won 4-0 so I am not complaining at all. So back to the top of the league, Brighton did win yesterday which is annoying but um, we're back to the top. They have got a game in hand so they can move past us whenever that game in hand is and you know what it's getting closer to us playing Brighton as well so it's a, that's an away game it's still a few games away yet and yeah I mentioned this at the start of the video I am actually this is just so weird it's like coincided with each other but we played Rotherham today I'm going to watch Rotherham play Barnsley next weekend um like I said Sarah my girlfriend some of you might know her she lives down there um and last year I went to go and watch Rotherham beat Brentford 2-1 um, and she's been offered some tickets again and I was like yeah I may as well come with you so I'm looking forward to that maybe I can bring a bit of luck to Rotherham because they did win their last game before they played us but obviously they're in a bit of a tight situation at the bottom of the league but yeah I'm off to the New York Stadium that'll be good Newcastle are playing Oxford that weekend away in the FA Cup so fingers crossed we can get the win in that game um, and then hopefully I watch some decent football at the Rotherham v Barnsley Adam Armstrong's at Barnsley so you never know, he might get a goal. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I did actually upload a couple of highlights from the game of like the big screen with the replays on. The quality isn't great, but if you want to go and see the goals, if you haven't seen them already, make sure you check them out in my channel. But yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you have. I, <laughs> I have also missed my um, Premier League predictions video. A couple of you guys have mentioned to me, Rob, why haven't you done it? It's because the Birmingham game was on at the weekend, so I did uh, during the week. So I didn't get a chance. But I'll be back to normal with Premier League predictions video this week. And then I'll be at the Rotherham game, which I'll probably vlog for you guys. So I'll probably upload that so you can see it anyway. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you have and subscribe if you're new. But thank you for watching and I'll catch you later. And a very quick shout out to Jack Lancaster who sent me the photo that I'm using in my thumbnail today. I'll put his Twitter down in the description. Thank you Jack for sending me that in. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you later.